My name is Christian Grabo. I work for Sunrise in Switzerland. Sunrise is the second largest uh, telco in Switzerland. Uh, I've been working now several years with uh, Cisco products. We in the B2B area uh, of Sunrise work with uh, Cisco kind of exclusively, so it's really our, our main partner. I'm looking after security products and uh, Umbrella and the cloud-based security products around um Umbrella has been the focus of my work. We've been offering Umbrella for three, three to four years actually. Yeah, we were kind of early with that. Yeah, Umbrella, as, as Cisco says, is kind of first line of defense. I, I think that's a very good, for once, a really good uh, marketing term, which is really true. Can it, it protects the, the users to going to sites he or she shouldn't go. It's kind of a protection against uh, getting malware infection, against phishing. And that has proven to be very effective, and it's a, a simple product that doesn't need uh, the customer to know a lot about it. It's just there and does the work. Yeah, for once you really can't say it's seamless. Yeah, it, it works in the, in the background and typically, you, yeah, and it doesn't disturb you in, in any way unless you access typically a website you shouldn't, then it will interfere with it and stop you for, from going there. I, I think uh, as a business customer, you're always worried that somebody in your organization will click on something he or she should not click on. Okay, it will happen to all of us. And Umbrella does a good job in protecting you from this click, which might at the end ruin your company in the worst case. You see, since it works in the, in the background, that's like if you would ask me, how much did the airbag in your car imp improve your personal safety? I hope you do not have to answer this question. I, I think the trickiest part is, um, it's not, it's not the, the product that I would see much improve, it's more the way we market it. I mean, I think Cisco would agree here. If everybody would understand what Umbrella does, most people would use it. It's kind of the analogy with the, the, the airbag. I mean, it's there and people now have understood the value of it. And if you would try to sell a car without an airbag, you'd, be, you'd have a hard time. You, you see, um, Umbrella is a whole uh, family of, of products. The, the most simple one, the one that uh, provides DNS protection, are fairly complete, They're, but then when, when you move to the more complex uh, versions of, uh, of Umbrella, that still is a kind of a complex beast where simply much must be done to simplify it in a way that we can offer that in a more standardized way. You see, we as a telco are maybe not operating the, as, in the same way as a traditional integration partner that can sell all its services. We try to have a, as high as possible standardized approach so we can sell it without much services added to it. Because I, if I can say one thing more, um, if you look, look at the structure of businesses in Switzerland, 95% of the business in Switzerland have 10 persons or less. And those type of businesses, they do not have security specialists. So the, the, the more that it is automated and standardized, the better for them. Yeah, be, before we indeed sold a, a, a different solution uh, doing that, but that was a, a much simpler DNS protection that never had the power and is not really comparable to, um, to Umbrella. It was more kind of a consumer level uh, product that did honestly not have much impact. I, I presume it's there, it does its work somehow. Uh, I just like the experience to really tell you.
I have it installed on, on my internet access at home and uh, it never intercepted anything I did. It's only kind of once I installed uh, Umbrella that I saw differences in the ways my DNS calls were intercepted. The, the main reason why we offered Umbrella is because it's business grade security. The value we bring to our customer is uh, that instead of just selling them connectivity or call it access to the internet, we offer them a base level of security with it. And I think that is uh, highly valued by customers since security is typically a topic they struggle to deal with. Well, our partnership with Cisco is uh, I'd say overall it's good, it has its ups and downs. Uh, Cisco is not always an easy beast to work with. Sometimes uh, you see fr traditionally they, they have a, a very strong enterprise focus. But we as service provider have a different needs than enterprises. And that sometimes has its challenges. Our last thing on pricing, uh, Cisco in general is, is perceived to be rather expensive, so the, we also, we, as you can imagine, we have permanent internal discussion if we should offer lower price securities from some of the, of the competitors. Did we, the return on the investment, I would assume, must be good, otherwise we would have stopped uh, working with, part, with Cisco as a main partner. So the deployment or, the, or how complex is it to deploy, that's really one of the great advantages of Umbrella, at least the, the Umbrella DNS part, that it's really simple to deploy. And kind of the, user, the users do not notice that it's there. It's, it's easy to install. It doesn't interfere with, the, with your work. And that's really one of the great advantages, the simplicity of it and the transparency of it. That's, I, I think, that we're, an area where, where Cisco could also improve on other products and take Umbrella DNS as a good example. We see Cisco support as uh, being helpful where, where needed. In the context of Umbrella, as I already mentioned, since we have rather little support case, we haven't had any, any problems or concerns there. So. I had very few encounters with Cisco support. And the ones I had, I, I, I'd give them an, uh, an eight or a nine, because uh, where I really run into some problems, I uh, eventually really got in contact with the engineers who really had to fix certain things that were wrong. And there the interaction has been good and I, I've seen good progress. When it comes to stability or performance of Umbrella, I think we can say we have been very pleased. We have had some technical colleagues really doing some very serious measurements because they had their questions. Uh, and of course, uh, when, you do, when you add um, security on, on top of uh, unsecured transport, you have certain delays, but uh, uh, the, they considered them to be not too bad and so actually it has never come up in a customer context as an issue. When we look at scalability of Umbrella, I mean, that's the great advantage of a cloud-based service that uh, they, it, it's not an issue on our side. We, we can assume that it will always be around and the performance will always be good. If, if somebody looks at the first, for the first time uh, at Umbrella, they, they, they should really understand what is also behind Umbrella. Behind Umbrella you have the whole Talos, this research uh, team within Cisco, which is uh, one of the largest uh, private ones uh, uh, on the world. And all the input out of this uh, 
Talos uh, activities that go into this product that makes this product really valuable. Then uh, as a service provider, we know that other service providers are using it. I kind of a big motivation when we chose Umbrella is that we had seen it's like large telcos like Tim in Italy using it for many years and, and being satisfied with it. Oh, okay, if you ask me to, 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 to rate uh, Umbrella on a scale from 1 to 10, then we really have to look at the different Umbrella products. I think the, the Umbrella Easy Protect, which is the simplest, and the Umbrella uh, DNS, I'd probably g give it a 9, uh, because there's always a little bit of room for, for improvement. On the Umbrella SIG, um, I think uh, also Cisco would agree that it's uh, something still under development and it's uh, very promising, so I'd give it a 7 or an 8.